Hey mathematicians, welcome back. Today we're going to start adding equations that have variables on both sides. So, so far we've been solving equations with variables just on one side. We're going to be doing both sides right now. So the process is still going to be the same. We're going to simplify, isolate, and check. It's just that now we have variables on two sides. So with this first example, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. I'm going to add up and I'm going to distribute that negative 5 and then I have to distribute the 4. So 9t plus negative 5t plus 20 because negative 5 times negative 4, negative times negative is positive, 5 times 4 is 20, is less than or equal to 4t minus 16. All right, so I'm still working on simplifying. I'm going to combine these two like terms together. So 4t plus 20 is less than or equal to uh, 4t minus 16. And when I look at that, I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. So 4t is less than or equal to 4t minus 36. We'll subtract 4t from both sides. And what's happening here is we get that 0 is less than or equal to negative 36. And we had some equations that were like that, that um, they just weren't true. You know, like there wouldn't be any way to graph it on there because there's no variable. Yes, you know, like it just wouldn't work. And so you would write here, no solution. Okay, so now is this going to happen often? No, but it is to make you aware that it is a possibility because this isn't true. Okay, this is not something that's true. So just be aware it does not happen often. Okay, so if you come up with a problem where it looks like that, what I want you to do is go back and try it again because I it does happen sometimes, but... On your assessments, I can tell you it won't happen at all. All right. So let's try this one. Let's try simplifying this one. Okay. So I'm going to start by distributing. So I've got 12t minus 20 plus 7. And I've got 8t plus 3. Negative 20 plus 7 is negative 13. I'm still working on simplifying. All right. Now I'm going to get variables. I'm going to work on that isolation piece. Okay. So I'm going to add 13 to both sides. So 12t is more than or equal to 8t plus 16. And now I want to get the T's on one side. Now, here's the thing, kiddos. You can, you know, do you could have subtracted 3 from both sides. You could have subtracted 12T from both sides. You really have that option um, to kind of play with it how it's most comfortable for you. So please don't think that, you know, how shoppers doing it right now is the only way to do it, okay? If you seek help from a family member and they show you a little different way, it's okay. It's okay. Our brains aren't all the same, so it's okay to think it through a little bit differently. All right? So T is greater than or equal to 4. Looks like I need to shrink this up a little bit. All right? So on my number line, 4 is the magic number. It's greater than or equal to. So it's filled in. And by the way, it is important that you fill it in if it needs to be filled in or don't fill it in, right? Like you have to make sure that that's done accurately. When I look at this, six is a number that would work and shading it to right would cover six. So T is all of the numbers more than or equal to four. All right. Okay, a couple more problems. Here we go. Variables on both sides is the focus right now. So when I look at this first one, both sides are simplified. Yes. So now I just need to get the variable alone. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So 11 is equal is less than or equal to 3x minus 10. Um, I'm going to add 10 to both sides. So 21 is less than or equal to 3x. 
Um, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So x is more than or equal to 7. So really, much of what I was doing right now, mathematicians, is really using those steps from solving equations. Okay, and then I just need to remember a few things along the way, like when you multiply or divide by a negative number, flip the sign. Magic number on my graph is 7. It's filled in because it's less than or equal to, you know, when that line's underneath it, that's a good sign to fill in. Um, and then x7 is less than x. That means x is more than 7. Shade to the right. And you can always test a number. For example, like 10 is over here. Is 7 less than 10? You know, you can substitute it into the equation or the inequality and you'll have it. All right. And keep in mind when you're going through these videos, if you're like, you're going too fast, slow down, you can hit pause, okay? And pause it and wait for them to come to. So negative 2 times 4b is negative 8b. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. All right? So we're going to add 3b to both sides. Okay? So negative 5b plus negative 2 is less than 8. Um, we're going to add 2 to both sides. So negative 5b is less than 10. Oh, look what's happening here, mathematicians. I'm dividing by a negative number. That means I need to flip the sign. It becomes a greater than symbol. And so I've got that b is greater than negative 2. Remember to flip the symbol when that happens. All right, here we go. So negative 2, open circle, shade to the right, B is more. Okay. All right. Here we go. Two more, and then we're going to give you some time to work on your worksheet. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to start by distributing. Okay, there we go. So we've got that 30z minus 18 is less than 36z. Okay, so we're going to subtract 30z from both sides. So negative 18 is less than 6z. There we go. And now I'll divide both sides by 6. So z equals negative. Nope, not equals. Come on, shops. Negative 3. There we go. z is greater than negative 3, or negative 3 is less than z. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my negative 3 right here. And it's going to be an open dot. And now, negative 3 is less than z. So z could be 0, which is going to be somewhere over here. So I'm going to shade to the right. Okay, Shade to the right. Always test it out to see what works best for you. All right, one more. Here we go. We're going to distribute. Who would have thought we'd be doing this much distributing, right, when we learned it at the beginning of the year? It's crazy how it keeps coming back. And for those of you wondering if it's going to actually continue into next year, the answer is yes. You'll be distributing next year. All right. So I have that 2H plus 12 is equal to negative 24 plus 3H. That looks a little messy. Let me clean it up. I'm going to subtract 2H from both sides. 12 is greater than negative, 20, uh, negative 24 plus H. We'll add 24 to both sides. 36 is more than H. All right. So here we go. 36 right here. H is less than 36. 36 is more than H. Open dot. Shade to the left. How do you know, Ms. Shepper? How do you know where to shade? 36 is more than a number. I'm going to say my number is 12 because 36 is more than that. Here's where 12 is on the number line. 
that tells me how to shade. Okay. All right. Have a fantastic day. We'll catch you all soon.